On Thursday, millions of kids will be hitting their local streets for trick-or-treating. It's really a fun night for children of all ages, but there are some dangers to be aware of. Earlier this week, a Neptune Beach officer arrested two men after police say they were caught with candies laced with marijuana. Now, if a child were to eat tainted candy, it could become a life-threatening situation. Well, another major concern is kids' safety on the roads. And joining us right now is Chanel Sims from Safe Kids Team at Wolfson Children's Hospital. Chanel, good morning. Thanks good for morning. being with us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. Now, what, what is the main reason that ki uh, kid pedestrians are in so much danger on Halloween? So on Halloween, the child is more um, out after dark when there's still a lot of traffic around. So more than twice as many children are killed in pedestrian vehicle incidents on Halloween than any other day of the year. And I noticed, especially if it's cloudy, mm -hmm. it gets dark quickly and, and earlier now yes, than it, it does. has been in the few, last few weeks. So what are some of the things that parents should be telling their kids when they're out there trick-or-treating to try to stay safe? So um, for pedestrian tips, it would be to cross the streets at the corners using a traffic signal or a crosswalk, as well as to remind them of the cars that are turning in or backing up. And then most importantly, as they're crossing the street, to look left, right, and left again. And then today with me, I have a few reflective gear. So here I have some reflective strips that can go on the shoes, the costume, the trick-or-treat bags, and then I also have a reflective arm band. And then you would just place this around the arm. Ooh, and then if they're go. wearing a long sleeve costume, to make sure that it's outside of the costume so they can be visible to the cars. And it's probably, when you talk about warning kids about looking both ways, it's probably not a bad idea to like pretend you're trick-or-treating and kind of go through the motions and, and role play it and practice it. Yes, yeah, so make sure that they are at the edge of the street, at the corner, so make sure that they look, they're looking left and then right and then left again for any cars that they may have missed on the other side. Any other tips for parents? Um, so Safe Kids Worldwide recommends that any child under the age of 12 should cross the street and trick or treat with an adult. So that's a very important tip. And I think the, you know kids get so excited and they're with their friends and they feel really safe and and they may dart across the street and you just never know what can happen, especially when it's getting dark out. So then also for the drivers to slow down in residential areas and be especially alert of those kids that are crossing the street mid-block instead of at the corners. Yeah, and you know, we mentioned the issue with the marijuana-laced candy, something new for parents to worry about. What are your recommendations for the safety of candy and, and making sure that it is safe? So if the parent thinks that their child's treat is spoiled, they need to check for it, well, throw away any of the candy that are torn, their wrappers are torn or faded, and then if it's unwrapped, just throw it away altogether. I guess you can't be too careful about that. I mean, you wouldn't know this, but when I was a kid, you know, sometimes we, they'd x-ray the candy because we were worried about it. But it's probably, unless you really know your neighbors, it's probably a good idea to not have anything that is homemade or completely wrapped in its original paper, right? Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much, Chanel Sims, for joining us this morning. And if you'd like to hear these tips again, we'll be putting this on our website, newsforjacks.com, and you can watch it and put it into practice next Thursday. Thank, thank you for you having me. So